was Thanksgiving night and all through the house, crumbs were disappearing. It must be a mouse. My kid's stuff was flung around with no care for who might trip and fly up in the air. I had just sent my little ones up to their beds because they had been running and had soon bumped their heads. And I and my PJs looking like crap would give almost anything for a Thanksgiving nap. When from upstairs there rose such a clatter, I ran up there. Now what was the matter? Away from the first room I ran like a flash, but my foot hit a toy and I started to crash. The laughter that followed as I looked from the low made me think I saw evil in their little eyes glow. As I got off the floor, their, their looks changed to fear as my teeth clenched and I said, come here, dear. They are lucky I didn't have my good spanking stick. They'd be crying so loudly DHS would come quick. Since I was hormonal, my mood, my mood began to tame as they quickly apologized, though not with much shame. Now you, now you, you better start fixing this mess that you made. What was that you were mixing? From the stuff in your room to the stuff in the hall, you better get cleaning, get cleaning it all. They started to whine and they started to cry. And then I remembered, it's almost Black Fry. If I don't get going, the sales will be through. So I got quickly dressed and out the door I flew. And then in the parking lot, I discovered the truth. With this kind of crowd, I'd really have to sleuth. As I squeezed into a spot way in the back, someone slapped the hood of my car with a whack. He was dressed in rags from his head to his foot. His hair was a good place for bugs to take root. A bag of used cans he held over his back. He showed no shame at all when he asked me for crack. His eyes, they were bloodshot, his face kind of scary, with deep lines and wrinkles, nose and ears hairy. His twitches were frequent, some fast, some slow. I quickly decided it was time to go. He slowly rolled his eyes around like a wreath. I threw the car in reverse when I saw his black teeth. As I pulled away, I saw his thin belly. His arms looked like they had been splattered with jelly. Is this really worth the sales on this shelf? As I drove, I was thinking these thoughts to myself. Surely the other lots won't be so crowded and the people won't all be so messed up in the head. But as I scanned the other stores, I knew it wouldn't work. Black Friday shoppers are like that crackhead jerk. So I drove toward the house. It was good, I suppose. Spending is already why hubby's blood pressure rose. I spent the rest of the night looking for a call for help whistle, thanking God that the crackhead did not have a pistol. As I tucked myself in and turned out the light, I thought, Black Friday never turns out right.